Morning all, and it's post bag time again. Two items today, let's have a look at what they are. So, what do we have here? Come on. Uh, no, can't tell what that is. Oh, wow, that's small. Looked a lot bigger than that. This, oh, and it's purple as well. That's excellent. This is something I've been really looking forward to getting. Let's take it out the bag. Now it looks, and to some extent it is, like an Arduino Pro Mini, because there is an 80 mega 328p there um, with the six pin connector for connecting the USB to serial interface but this chip here is very interesting it's well this one says it's a DP7456 but it's equivalent to a max 7456 and a max 7456 is this it's a single channel monochrome on-screen display with integrated EEPROM what it does is it overlays characters onto a PAL or NTSC video signal and it is really tiny this is it compared with an Arduino Pro Mini I thought it's going to be a lot bigger than that that's quite impressive so what this is is an on-screen display telemetry unit for hexacopters or quadcopters and uh, the idea is that you've got a camera in the aircraft and a video signal is being sent back to a display or to a headset which you wear and you fly the aircraft as though you're sitting in it and this thing overlays data relating to battery voltage, battery current, uh, all sorts of um, uh, compass data, GPS, all that sort of stuff and overlays it onto the screen so that you can see as well as the image um, of where you're flying you can also see a lot of parameters about the flight so I've already downloaded the setup program for this and this is it and uh, this is basically what you see you see an image of where you're flying and also all this overlaid data um, what have we got here we've got uh, amps and volts for the battery latitude and longitude a horizon indicator oh I've no idea what all this stuff is uh, this is some sort of um, bank indicator there's an arrow there I think to uh, indicate some sort of direction loads and loads of stuff so this is going to be a lot of fun right on to the next okay, this is a solar charge controller <laughs> Now this was very cheap um, and it was missold actually. Uh, also, I've got this, I'll come back to that. Uh, let me show you the listing. So this was sold as a 20 amp MPPT solar charge controller for £6.37. Now it isn't an MPPT solar charge controller and I never imagined it would be. Um, Toy Model 55 I think is a great seller, the prices are awesome but you do have to be a little bit careful they're a bulk seller um, they don't really know what they're selling so uh, I bought this with my eyes open £6.37 that's still pretty good but it does look like it's a PWM solar charge controller and if it is that's still pretty good for £6.37 so it says PWM charge mode brackets SOC state of charge not sure what they mean by that uh, big terminals big distance between terminals hmm Double digit LED display. No, I haven't got one of those. Now this is already a little bit nasty because uh, this back panel just sort of presses against these three MOSFETs. Um, they're not going to make brilliant contact just being spring loaded against this piece of aluminium. Anyway, let's take the board out. Oh dear. Well, it's certainly not MPPT because there's no inductor, but I don't think this is PWM either because there's no microcontroller. The only two ICs are a uh, 40106, which I think is hex inverters, and an LM324, 
which I think is a quad comparator. There's uh, an opto isolator. Oh, well, certainly got big connectors. Oh, very nice big connectors. But these MOSFETs, there's no markings on them at all. They're just blank. Nothing written on there at all. So no idea what they are. Now, I would be very surprised if this is 20 amp. Well, it isn't, is it? I think this is just a standard 10 amp one. I think I've been had. The circuit in here looks almost identical to that little cheap uh, charge controller that I put in my big garden light. Um, with the two MOSFETs providing the uh, solar panel uh, connect and disconnect and the third MOSFET doing load control. Now there isn't even a nice polyfuse in this, you've just got this horrible soldered in car style fuse. Now it does say 20 amps twice on this rear panel so maybe it just gets very hot. Anyway these are the two uh, charge controllers that I bought. Uh, this one quite some time ago, this one was the one that we're looking at. £6.37, but I think actually you're better off um, if you only need 10 amps with this one because it's just nicer inside. It's just um, a better layout. £4.75, very cheap. Uh, components, the MOSFETs are identifiable in this one. This one, no markings on the MOSFETs, that's a bit worrying. And I'll put a link to uh, both these charge controllers, uh, that one and that one, in the description. And I suppose if one good thing's come out of this, <laughs> It's kind of um, made me think pressing on with my Arduino PWM and MPPT charge controllers is well worthwhile because if this is the sort of rubbish you get on eBay, um, let's make something a lot better. And here's the third thing. Uh, it came with the con charge controller because I bought it uh, at the same time. And it is an NRF, oh, what are they called? NRF 24L01 plus, which is the chip on the left, see if I can get this to focus, hold on, uh, yes it's an NRF uh, 24L01 plus, you can see that, now there's another chip there called an RF axis X2401C, and that by all accounts is a power amplifier. So here's the listing, it's the NRF 24L01 plus uh, plus power amplifier plus LNA, SMA, antenna, wireless transceiver. Now the idea with this um, is that it transmits the data much, much further. Let me scroll down because there is something it says here, which is, uh, yes, this allows you to use the wireless communication up to a thousand meters, no barrier. So remember my wearables project with the little OLED, the uh, Arduino Pro Mini and the um, lithium ion pack with its battery protector and fuel gauge. Well, the idea was to add one of these NRF uh, 24LO1 plus modules to this and the other one to my MPPT solar charge controller. And then the wearable would just uh, display statistics from the charge controller. Now I'll probably be using it in a single direction mode so the charge controller will transmit and the wearable will just receive. Well now if the charge controller has this super powerful one kilometer transmitter with this uh, power amplifier there it should have a much more impressive range, a much more reliable wireless. So here's a quick look at the RF axis uh, data sheet for the RFX2401 C and it says it's a fully integrated uh, single chip, single die RF front end integrated circuit which incorporates all the functionality needed for ooh, Zigbee and all that stuff but basically anything in the 2.4 gig region it has the power amplifier, the LNA, whatever that is transmit and receive switching circuitry super! So this item was £3.21 and again from Toy Model 55. So that's today's post bag. We have a very disappointing solar charge controller, but actually I quite like very disappointing solar charge controllers because it makes my designs look 
that much better. So I've got no problem with that. Um, this fantastic uh, quadcopter on-screen telemetry unit. Going to have excellent fun with that. And the high power RF data transmitter. Actually, it's a transceiver, but um, it probably worked better as a one-way transmitter since this side's going to have all the power. Excellent post bag.